In this video, we're gonna talk about the Cosmic Clash, Monolith versus Omega Spawn, and their shocking endgame. You'll see what I mean by the end of this issue. Alrighty then, this is a comic book review of Monolith. Issue number two, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. So previously in Monolith, in the far future, Monolith escapes his prison while Omega Spawn seeks to recapture his protege, which is Monolith. So Monolith is now a demon on the run. But being in space and being on the run is unlike anywhere else. The barriers that need to be traversed include cosmic storms, exploding stars, intergalactic war, planetary. Okay, I'm kind of going Beastie Boys right there if you guys know that song, but you know, your boy is a millennial, so forgive me. So when he passes those tests, he stows away on a transport train. So these men, these alien men, exit the train and their job is to dig up resources to keep the train going. That's what they do. So Monolith spies Earth in the cosmic distance, now part of his planetary chain gang. Keep in mind that where chain gang is referencing spawn issue number 313 to 317, which is a chain gang set storyline. So I guess a little callback right there. He knows he must get to that planet, but Omega spawns sees it too, and he wants that smoke, and he wants Monolith to obey. So as they travel on the high speed train, Monolith closes his eyes and his memories kick in, revisiting his history, revisiting his origins. He sees the goddess Gaia and Earth, the planet eaters too. Seeing himself younger living on his planet, looking at the skies, wanting the smoke. As those serpents, the planet eaters, destroy the planet Monolith once called home. He wants revenge, and they gonna see those hands too, one of those days. So Monolith trained himself after that. Omega and the planet eaters drained all that was good from his people. And his people tell Monolith he needs to go to Earth to hunt our enemies, then destroy Gaia and spawn. But Monolith had used these fools to practice. Kill them later as he prepared to find those that took away his home. Damn, boy, is savage, all right? So initially, they sent him to the next dying planet to fight a smaller band of planet eaters. Those who come uninvited will have their bones turned into armor. And he sent the message. That's his message, you know, because those bones are going to turn into armor for him and the rest of their body parts strewn everywhere. So Mal is all victorious and, and Omega spawns like, nah, -uh, bruh, this is my war, child, and you're my servant. So back in the present, on the transport ship, he sees a child and a mother, weak and innocent refugees. The child asks, what's your name and are you good or bad? And Monolith is like, good. Really? Me too. Now I understand they can't really go into much character development with Monolith and the child because the way it forms is really rushed, but it's a short issue. I'm okay with that. So the ship lands in a new Dubai, a city that traded resources for its safety. Refugee says it's one of the greatest and safest places in the galaxy. So Monolith exits, explores like a little tourist, if you want to call it that. No, he ain't so little. But the girl who sees him on the ship is like, hey, mister, this way. We need to stick together because we're the good guys. And Monolith does do that. So he thought he fled far enough, but he did it. Omega Spawn found him again. And his attack kills the little girl and her mother instantly. And Omega Spawn is just rubbing alcohol to the womb like, Everything you touch will become ashes, Monolith. As long as you continue to run, innocence will die. It is not enough to make Monolith bleed. Omega wants his evil to warm his way into Monolith. So he'll doubt himself. So he'll give up. And they go at it and they throw hands. The girl's death is your fault, says Omega Spawn. You killed her with your defiance. I am your god. And lays a smack down on Monolith. And Monolith just goes back, gets up, shake it off like Taylor Swift. And Monolith is like, I'll die before letting you lord over me. You don't scare me, bruh. I should, because worship isn't what I want from you. It's your rebirth I'll have. You'll reshape what I order you to. You'll kill it, then you'll help me make a world of my choosing, including genocide. Omega doesn't desire to make slaves of his enemies. He craves their annihilation. He wants to lord over him. But what are those targeted to die, the ones waiting to be massacred? Well, the most resilient of them decided to build a cannon and they bring out that weapon, get the guns out because the sun ain't out so the guns gotta come out. So when you see the planets devoured along your horizon, you prepare. So even though the gun is still kind of experimental, decades were spent on splitting atoms for a single discharge. They'll not get a second shot and they will not get a second chance at this if they don't act quickly. So Monolith and Omega Spawn are like, nah, bruh. So Monolith tackles Omega Spawn and tells him, the planet eaters, if they devour everything, where do you live? What makes you think their hunger will stop? They'll turn on you too. So the behemoths are a chain reaction when they smash. 
buildings and street blocks aren't safe when these monsters collide. They go at it hard. Titans collide, if you want to call it that. Even though they've gone quiet because there's a lot of smashing and hands being thrown around, they have to light up the gun. So fear and anticipation spread, for they know their world will never be the same again. So these humans that design that cannon, they prepare to aim. But the next moment, rubble explodes, exposing the giants. They're so focused on killing each other, they never take the step or the time to prepare what the next move is. So these brothers decide to fire the cannon. The gun splits the nuclei of the surrounding atmosphere. When it connects with the beast, it disperses their body molecules, separating time and space, creating a scientific miracle, yet the monsters don't stop fighting through a second of it until Ooh. they land where Mala's destiny will merge with spawns and that's a reference to spawn issue number 313 and we did cover that on this channel which is in my opinion one of the best story arcs in my opinion spawn 313 to 317 the chain gang set which we did cover on this channel so a beginning where the collision between the time rip and destiny will mark the end of the world or in our case the modern end of the world and create something different this is what will be called Omega Island. And that is the end of Monolith issue number two. Monolith versus Omega Spawns and their shocking end game. That is so crazy how their battle, how they duke it out, just all of a sudden ends them up in Omega Island. Talking place, taking place in Spawn issue number 313 where Spawn meets Monolith or how it ties into that. So with that being said, what you guys think of the review? Comment below, let me know. Also, link in description if you wish to add this comic book and or any of our other limited print rated comics exclusives to add to your comic book collection. Support the art, support the industry. Lastly, this review is sponsored by Coffee, so if you'd like to buy a boy a cup of coffee, link in description or donate to the Super Thanks. But the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to Rated Comics YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.